Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and I've got a new animal to show you and I am excited because it's a creepy crawly. Oh my gosh. I've got an audience over here and they're all squeaming because these things are so cool. Anybody know what this is? I think I heard it out there. It's a millipede, a giant African millipede. As the name suggests, they are found in Africa. They're found in the rainforest. And here's a fancy word for you. They're called a detritivore. What in the world does that mean? That's a fancy schmancy science term that means they like to eat dead stuff. And I don't usually mean dead animals, although they are known to do that every now and then, but mainly vegetation. So a lot of leaves and stuff like that that fall to the ground. But the thing you're going to notice about this cool thing, look at all those legs! Whew! I can't imagine how long it must take this guy to put his shoes on. But look at all those things. So this guy has four legs per body segment. So when you look at them, I'm going to flip them over again, look at all those little lines on them. Each of those lines is called a segment. And each line has four legs per line, per segment. Whereas a centipede, centipedes are a little bit grosser, they have two legs per segment. Now, the other difference is centipedes, they're venomous. So if you get bit by a centipede, they're going to put some venom in you and it's going to hurt you. And in fact, there are some centipedes that can actually kill people. But not this guy. He's not venomous. He's poisonous, which means inside of him, he's got a little bit of a fluid in there that if you eat him, you're going to get an upset belly. In fact, sometimes you could actually see him spit that stuff out. It kind of turns your hand yellow when he spits it out. It's not going to really affect a human being, but if you're an animal that's small, it's not going to taste that good and you're going to probably spit this guy out. Now, a couple other things you notice about him. Look at these things right up there on the top of his head moving around. Those are little antenna. That's what he uses to feel. Kind of like your fingers, he just uses those antenna to actually feel around. Now, an average adult like this, you're talking anywhere from 100 to 200 legs. In fact, I think the biggest millipede ever found, I believe, had 400 legs. Imagine that, 400 legs. That's incredible to think about. But nonetheless, what a cool animal these guys are and we do have millipedes here in Montana but they're gonna be a lot smaller than this again this is one of the biggest millipedes in the world and there's something like 10,000 different millipede species out there just an insane amount of numbers but these I think are some of the coolest ones that you're gonna see around and we now have some here at Zoo Montana that you're gonna be able to see up close and personal so be sure to come out here and check these guys out soon now right now they're in a quarantine which is why we're wearing the gloves which means they're just we're just making sure they don't have anything on them that we don't want to spread to the other animals so that's why we're being a little bit more careful with them than of course later in their life when we can not worry about the gloves there but look how cool that is be sure to come out check them out here at Zoo Montana until next time guys I am Jeff the nature guy see you soon